Last time we talked about EKA IOs, we were talking about the 360 combination and today we have the 240 radiator right here. So EKA IO 240 DRGB liquid cooling, closed liquid cooling system in fact. So today we're going to go with some thermals. I place the radiator on the front and no it doesn't uh, make any problems with the pump as long as the pump and the pipes are lower than the radiator. So okay, just to clear that up. Now here we have the uh, Fantex case which is P300A and it has a meshed front so you don't have to worry about the blockage of air. We're going to get some clean results. And quite the interesting thing is basically we have the same uh, mounting mechanism for the Intel and AMD uh, on the AIO 240 as we have on the AIO 360. Basically just place the backplate behind the motherboard, place the thumb screws on front of the motherboard when we're talking about the Intel processors and uh, then just place the CPU block on the CPU and that's all there is to it. Of course you have the springs and the thumb screws and locking nuts basically and that's it. Now, as I stated on the 360 radiator, the 240 has the same thing and this is really impressive and you might find it funny, but after a while you do need to change thermal paste, right? So the AAO already comes with pre-applied thermal, thermal paste on the CPU block. Uh, after a year, year and a half maybe, if you have a regular cleaning and the CPU doesn't heat up because of it, you will actually have to remove the CPU block, change, clean the old thermal paste, place a new one, just to get a better heat dissipation. And EK placed another additional tube inside the EK AIO 240DRGB, just for you guys so you can easily switch it up. Now, we have a quite interesting solution because you have uh, two uh, addressable RGB fans which go mounted on the top. We have uh, specially designed for the AAO, so these are not the standard EK Vardars, these are Vardar S120ER and basically they do the job quite nicely. In fact, they do such a nice job that I'm really impressed with the results and almost shocked because the 240 is quite close to the 360. That doesn't really make sense now, does it? But it does compete as the best 240 AIO that I have ever tested. With 65 Celsius degrees, as you can see, it actually beats all 240 uh, AIOs and basically it almost beats some 280 AIOs which is quite interesting but taking into consideration that EK Waterblocks is well known for their custom loop solution oh wait I forgot about this they're well known for their custom loop solution and long-term manufacturing of CPU and GPU blocks you will most likely realize that this makes sense when it comes to 240 uh, cooling solution that they beat all others and without any single doubt they really do so I'm really impressed first of all with the RGB you got to admit their RGB on everything well I have the CPU block right here at the back unfortunately you can't see it but CPU block and GPU block are addressable RGB and of course the EK FLT 360 is also addressable RGB and the lights are really insane. Now the design of the pump is basically have a, a plexiglass top that has a well shine through I would call it RGB so when you as you can see when you turn it on you can see through the uh, block uh, the lights. Now of course soon I will do the EK360 Elite as well which is kind of a different top. Now when it comes to pipes the pipe length is 400 millimeters, which is quite enough. Now, if you decide to go and flip the radiator on the other side, even though, honestly, I don't know who will ever produce, a, I don't know, 60, 50, 60, 70 centimeter of 
tube length for an AIO which honestly doesn't make sense because so far everybody was running either the radiator on front or on top and I know some of you even mentioned that radiator on top will accumulate hot air from the interior of the case that is just absurd so basically uh, yeah 400 millimeter of tube length which as you can see is more than enough for the Fantex P300A since it is a smaller case and uh, yeah I mean what's there left to say I'm really satisfied with the temperatures really satisfied how it competes with others and how it's uh, basically really easy to place it on an Intel motherboard and the same thing goes for the AMD motherboard as you can see from the close-ups and everything that it's really a, just a couple of minutes of tying the thumb screws and tying the locking nuts that's all there is to it uh, RGB is insane it looks really great and I really love it and what's there left to say it cooled the i9 9900KF without breaking a sweat and definitely my recommendation if you're searching for a 240 AIO this is my recommendation and this is why I will give a PC crazy performance badge to the EK AIO I think I already did that for the 360 right yeah so performance badge uh, for the EK AIO 240 DRGB uh, closed all-in-one liquid cooling system I forgot about that one more thing I would like to add if you're curious about how to place everything inside the case when it comes to their uh, radiators and liquid cooling systems such as the AIO 240 you get a nice booklet that actually says everything about it how to connect the pump how to connect the fans how to daisy chain the fans excuse me how to daisy chain the fans how to place the water block how to mount the CPU block uh, on the CPU and all the other necessary stuff are here in I would say like five or six different languages so guys you can't make a mistake this is your first step to water cooling next step would be most likely soft tubing if you're into that or after that hard tubing which is really an excitement to do just be careful that's all that I have to say I'm placing the EK Waterblocks website below uh, so you can check out all their other products and of course the EK AIO 240 DRGB if you're in Europe you don't have a problem when it comes to uh, shipping rates and uh, shipping speed because they're in Slovenia so the shipping is quite fast and you won't have to wait that long so guys thank you for watching today's video if you have a comment leave your comment below in the comment section of course don't forget to click uh, the thumbs up button if you like the video and of course subscribe for future content I'll see you very soon thanks bye bye